they say quite a lot of outrageous things on, on GB News. What, so an apology is, is, is quite a rare thing. Uh, what form uh, did the GB News apology take? Yeah, it was an unreserved apology, uh, Mariella, and they've gone further than that. They've actually suspended Lawrence Fox um, for what they considered to be the totally unacceptable comments. Um, and you're right, you know, they have got a history of... Um, airing outspoken views, and they are quite proud of that. But I think in this instance, a line has been crossed, and they feel that well, they like to position themselves as a place where robust debate can take place. Um, but I do think with Lawrence Fox's comments um, about Ava, that really that, that it's gone. They went too far, and it wasn't a, a debate so much as a, as a personal attack. And, and they would say that they don't have any place for that on their channel. Uh is it likely that Ofcom will now become involved? Yeah, I mean, Ofcom has certainly received a number of complaints and has said it's considering whether to launch an investigation. Um, the expectation is that it will launch an investigation. Um, and, you know, speaking to people, they can experts, they consider that it would be very surprising were Ofcom not to find against it. So they do consider that, you know, there's Ofcom has a number of a number of um, guidelines surrounding taste and decency and privacy, etc. And 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 from the outside, they they consider um, Fox's comments to be a clear breach of those. Mm. I mean, it, you know, following on from from the revelations uh, about Russell Brand and the sort of misogyny that was tolerated, forgetting the crimes that. I, I, I believe are being investigated, the alleged crimes. Um, you know, it seems that that type of misogynistic attitude is alive and well and uh, surviving healthily in British media in yeah, some parts. Well. But, or in society, generally. You know, yeah. I wouldn't want to draw a line between, you know, Russell Brand's, the allegations surrounding him and, and Lawrence no, Fox's comments. No, absolutely not. But what I'm talking about is the sort of broadcasting that Russell Brand was tolerated uh, with doing over many years. Yeah, I mean, and look, that was under the guise of comedy um, and, and that was 10, you know, 10, 15 years ago and, and a lot of the talk about the time is the extent is is that, that such such comments would never be allowed on air anymore. And I agree. And look, perhaps we have... Um, found ourselves in a situation whereby s s these comments were made and in GB News's defence, it has acted quickly. Mm. It said, that's not acceptable, we're not going to have this, you're off the air. It's not the first time, though, that they've had an on-air controversy, is it? No, they are known for their unspoken, outspoken views. They're currently um, subject to investigations over impartiality. There's some issues surrounding um, some of their presenters being serving conservative politicians and the appropriateness of that. Um, and so, you know, there are a number of... Ofcom decisions surrounding GB News and it's certainly going to be uh, interesting to see which way it finds on these and what the ultimate um, what the ultimate um, um, response from from GB News is. Mm. And just finally, I mean, what of, of of Lawrence Fox? A number of GB News hosts, including Conservative MP Philip Davis, have called his words unacceptable. Um, might we see him back on air anytime soon, or do, or do you think this is a, a burnt bridge too far? Speaking to people, they seem they, they don't expect that he'll be back on the channel. But uh, GB News, who knows? They might well consider, you know, if he... I mean, he hasn't shown any sign of contrition either, which I don't, don't, don't think is going to help his cause. But no, the expectation is that we won't be seeing him back anytime soon.